This week on Inside the Laser Lab, we go big with a PS48 and call forth the Kraken. Hey everyone, hello. Yeah. It looked funny. Yeah. Hey. Ooh, that new intro got me. Hey everyone, it's Walker and Scott at Full Spectrum Laser. What's Kraken? Ah, uh, I see what you did there. <laughs> because I know you've been working all week on a very special project on the big PS48. I have, I have. I've been working long and hard. I was very octopied. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, why don't you tell us what inspired you this week? So, I was inspired by uh, cephalopods. That's a normal inspiration. All right. right, we've seen you do these before. Well, we've seen you do the, the big old the giant shrimp, right? That's a lobster. <laughs> the lobster? That's because it's so big. <laughs> and then the squid? That's an octopus. This is an octopus. <laughs> so yeah, uh, this, these are a couple projects we have. This is like one of the first projects we did. And this week, all right, this week on the pro, I've been I've been watching you. I've been out there on the big forty eight all week. Yeah. So I'm expecting something just spectacularly awesome and tremendous. Yes. So what do you got? Oh, we, we call it the Kraken. I hear the Kraken. The Kraken. That that kraken. that's pretty big. The Kraken. And oh, this is okay. The Kraken. I well, I honestly was expecting something a bit more impressive. You know, you were out there. You got a forty eight by thirty six working area. And, well, uh, well it is Pro Week, and I, w I did want to go all out. Yes. So let's release the real Kraken. The real Kraken. Oh, oh my. There <laughs> we go. Oh, my. So that's another one of your famous hanging lamps you've done? I know. I, I have, I love light fixtures. <laughs> I have a problem. But, uh, yeah, I think he's really cool. He is cool. And this is a file available for the Pro. You can only make this if you have a 24 by 36 and up. So, so it's fairly significant. And there was something really significant about the Pro machine you made it on this week. What was that? What was the big change that, that we're going into? Is we go into the new era of Pro machines here. Brand new Pros. Brand new Pros. So we have touch panels, brand new software, and uh, yeah, we're, we're going to show you that after we show a little bit of inspiration for this week. So yeah? Pro Machines have used the uh, Retina Engrave, what we call Retina Engrave 1 here internally. Yeah. But now they're going to get the same software as the Muse. Yeah, so they're going to have the same exact software. It's just a different work area, obviously. Bigger work area, bigger laser. And it just goes hand in hand. And it's awesome because you can use Linux, Mac, every operating system to run the laser. So Chromebooks and iPads yeah, as so well. Yes, you don't need a specific like uh, laptop anymore. Just anything, you can run it because it's a browser-based It's browser-based. There's nothing to download now. You just get an IP address off yes. the, uh, the new touch screens, which is also part of the pros. Very, very cool. Very good. I, I love the new upgrade. Let's just take a look at the inspirations for this week okay. that we found on Pinterest. Bring them up. Ooh. Ah, nice. Ah. Another lamp with a, a nautical beautiful. theme. Yes. Yeah. Now, now that looks really curved. How do they get all those curves in there like that? So that's actually stacked cardboard that they uh, cut. Uh, just in just in layers. Yeah, in layers, and that would take a long time. I think they they charge about a hundred something dollars for that. Wow. Does the heat affect the glue at all? Um, with cardboard it does, but it, it's not too bad. Okay. Cardboard's pretty easy to cut. All right. See what we got next. <laughs> So that is <laughs> this is a Kraken laptop holder. Right. Just right tentacles rising out of the sea there yeah. to hold it up. To bring you your work. That's very clever. I, I really love some of the, the clever things people do, especially, you know, in certain genres and stuff like that. Yeah. I do like that one. This one's really cool. This is a <laughs> pop-up card. This is that is right? Pop -up. We always oh. bring these guys up because they're amazing. They have so many so much detail and so many different designs. You open up that card and that thing literally pops up like a pop book, <laughs> like you're five again. It's amazing. So we got some uh, oh. people checking in with us. Jeff Hayes. Jeff Hayes. Hey, hey Jeff. Jeff. Jeff can make this on his 20. You know what that means? Lynn is not far away. Also. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's so lurking. I'm going to say it right away. Hey, Lynn. Yale? Hello, Yale. Yale. Uh, yes, we will share all the files, the small guy and the big guy. So, so that's an easier project. Yeah, this guy, I'm going to remove these notches. He'll be more simple. He'll just be nice and clean like this. And you can actually, I made this to fit a small light socket in. So you can still make him a light so if you want to. So that's also light. Okay. Yeah, if you want to. If not, he looks cool. He does. You know? <clears throat> so here's a picture. 
of cupcake toppers. That's just uh, little acrylic uh, pieces that they've cut out and just put in put in yeah. there for a nice themed party. That's really really Don't neat. Look really fancy. That's you know that's taking the cake toppers to a a smaller place, but yeah. uh, a really broad uh, interest in that. Kind of, that could be good for uh, kids would, parties yeah. and all sorts of stuff. I want that just for that piece. I know. I like if that was at a bake sale, I would throw away the cupcake and keep keep well, the acrylic yeah. uh, <laughs> design thing. Just don't <laughs> All right, what do we got next? And this is a cool design. This wasn't laser cut, but you could easily laser cut this. And look how awesome that is. You it's can open and close that thing. It's a Nautilus. It's a Nautilus, shop. I remember. Yes, yeah. the Nautiluses are cool. I love stuff. I used Nautilus. to go to it's Nautilus really Gym. Weird. Remember that? Really? That was a long time ago. No, no. Ooh, <laughs> that looks almost too yeah. real. This is called, oh, who makes this? The, the Vanilli designs or lighting and that those are just panels that they fold together and you actually buy this for eighty dollars and you put it together yourself what's the material really awesome uh, a thin plastic wow I really really like that, <laughs> that is really cool super clean modern and then this is another one of their design sea turtles who doesn't like turtles uh, turtles are great anything yeah. from the sea yeah cool and scary <laughs> yeah <laughs> um, and then we have jellyfish like also those. cool and scary yes Deadly in some cases. So there's a lot of, you know, just you could take a sea, sea theme and you can make just tons of variations on different things. That's what I love about what people do with the laser cutters is there's just no end to the creativity mm -hmm. and the ideas that people bring, even to a very narrow theme. There's just you know, countless things you can do. Yeah. We were beeping there for a second. <laughs> Somebody's. My alarm was going off. <laughs> Your hot pockets. I need. <laughs> hot oil. pockets are done. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a look at what we what we had with RE1, right, and see yeah, yeah. what has gotten better with, with RE3. Yeah, so for the guys who have the machines, guys and gals that have the machines with RE1, I'm just going to show that and then show the diff just a little bit of differences between that and RE3. So let's go into the software, and I'll show you what's up. All right. Now, have you found your workflow has gotten faster and easier with RE3? I have, and it's different. It is different. Um, <clears throat> you have to do a, a little different setup. Uh, you can do the same, but I find it a lot faster just to, usually I would just use a print driver for RE1 and just do that, and sometimes it takes a bit to load, especially for a large file like this. But with RE3, I tend to just save PDFs, PDFs and just drag and drop them in, mm -hmm. and it's a lot faster. And surprisingly, for, for a uh, browser-based software, it loads pretty quickly. I would say it's exactly the same as the downloadable RE1. So RE1, if you have an old machine, this is the software. And here's our file right here <coughs> on the 24 by 16. Now, I know you like this software because you've been using it for so long also. This is yeah. yeah. So I have a, like, a, like a fondness for this. <laughs> and I'm so a nostalgia. Used to it. Yeah, nostalgia. <laughs> And, but there, it, it, it's good, it gets the job done, it also lacks in some areas, and that's right. why RE3 came. So there are, what I'm gonna do is just a simple manipulation. So let's say that this last piece that's highlighted didn't cut through. What I can do is change that color to yellow, and then I'll turn my passes off on red to zero. Okay. So I can run the same exact job, except just on that piece that didn't cut, and that's, that's probably as complicated as RE1 gets when it comes to file manipulation once in the software. So I'm going to jump into RE3. Wow. Now, immediately I noticed the, the new uh, interface. New layout's a lot prettier. Workflow, again, faster, and you can manipulate so much more. It looks like modern software to me now. Yes. You can connect in different ways, too, right? You can connect in different ways. RE1. I do a hard connection. I stay hard connected with my Ethernet to my computer, and that's what I do. You could run an Ethernet to your router and then be connected Wi-Fi, but what is good about the new software is it's, you can all wireless. Now, the RE3 I'm in right now, this machine's in the warehouse, and I can literally run jobs from here you know, 100 feet away. And if we didn't have a Wi-Fi connection, you could do a hotspot on your phone, correct? Yeah, you could do a hotspot on the machine. On the machine. machine has a hotspot that you can directly connect to. If not, what we do is just uh, plug the machine directly into the router. Right. And then it's on our network. And that way, anybody can access it as long as they have that IP address. So you can have multiple co computers uh, access the, uh, the laser without having to download any software into any of them. Yes. 
That's yeah, very convenient. So three ways to connect and multiple computers. And it's also now PC and Mac Everything. and Linux all yeah. in the operating system. For all the Mac users, that's huge because before you had to have a PC or run a simulator of Windows on your Mac. Right. So now it's a lot better. And you can choose your browser, although we do recommend Google Chrome. Yeah, we do recommend Chrome. I mean, who doesn't, right? Who, Chrome is who uses Internet Explorer besides? Okay. All right. Let's <laughs> <laughs> I mean, unless you're downloading Chrome, right? It's the number one browser for downloading Chrome. <laughs> so in the software, you can see that the nodes are actually visible, my anchor points, and I can grab and move these guys and manipulate. Wow. Like a design software. Like a design something. software, like Netscape or something like that. Or Inkscape, I mean. Inkscape. Yeah, yeah Netscape, not so much. Inkscape. But yeah. <coughs> and you can drag, grab the curves like any other design software. So if you're familiar with Illustrator or Inkscape, very similar functions. You could design the whole thing in you could. 3 now. You could. Of course, you have favorites. But if you don't have a specific design software that you know and love, it's already in here. You can just learn it on that? Yeah. And it's got uh, a whole bunch of fonts that come with it. <coughs> yeah, hundreds of fonts, and you can add to those font that font library. And we're working on putting in uh, pre-made shapes and stuff. Pre-made shapes like RE2 for the older uh, for the muses. muses. Mm -hmm. We had pre-made shapes, and those are actually coming back. So if you just want to cut out a star and then have your kid draw on it or something like that, that's coming back. Um, very useful for circles, I think. Sometimes, mm -hmm. for some reason, I would I need a circle, <laughs> and I don't like I don't want to do the whole print process, it would be awesome just, you know, right. throw it in there. Although I've made donuts on RE3 that, <coughs> that look really good. Yeah? Yeah. Tasty? Hey, we're in <laughs> you think. So made of leather? <laughs> yeah. Chew on it all day. <laughs> so that's the simple manipulation, the huge difference. And again, I could change this to any color if I wanted to. And now we can give it zero fill. And now I have these two over here that I can run at a different power setting. If, again, sometimes I do that, if a piece didn't cut and I'm a little bit out of alignment, I don't want to ruin any pieces of wood, I'll just run that job again. Just like you did with RE1. Just like. Yeah. Except a lot more manipulation this time. So, back to the Kraken. I want to get back to them. I mean... Now, how long did that take to cut on the, uh, the, the PS48? This took... This is a two-hour file. That's that's pretty significant. You did it all at once, or did you have to? I did out it all in pieces. Like as soon as I design like a piece and I know it's going to work, I run the job. Then I start working on the rest of it because I only have a week to do something like this. <laughs> that's and, pretty impressive. And we are pretty busy this <laughs> week, so I hope everyone likes it. It's very simple to put together. Now that that one's more complicated. That's sort of a. a more complicated for for pro users. But yes. If you got a muse and you want to you want to take a, a crack at the crack and so hole. to speak, huh, see, <laughs> uh, then that's a much easier job. How long did that take to do on the muse? That's thirty four minutes. So a difference, right? But and the assembly is easier. It doesn't have as many parts and things. Yeah, like that. Yeah, this guy's going to be simpler. This guy's obviously a lot more complicated. Yeah. But I love them both. I love them too. They're very <laughs> scary. Um, it's weird. Did you know that squids actually can laugh? I did not know. How do we know they're laughing? Because it... Because... <laughs> how do you know they thought the joke was funny? <laughs> <laughs> ten tickles. <laughs> it takes are ten they, tickles to you, make a squid laugh. Are you saying they're, they're, they're ticklish? That's how we know? Somebody <laughs> finally decided, I wonder if I can tickle a squid? And, you and ruined it, it for me, Scott. You ruined it for me. <laughs> Sorry, were you setting up a joke? Uh, yeah, I was. <laughs> <clears throat> so, if you have a muse, Feel free to download this file on our website. If you haven't checked out Laser Talk and you want to see all our cool pro upgrades, please do that as well. Again, the link's up here if you're watching on YouTube. Check out RE3. <sighs> Man, I'm so excited for this one. I know. We're all dressed up today. Yeah. Well, we're in the lab. I know. This is really a lab. I love it. It's lab. lab. <laughs> no. All right. And uh, until next time. Keep making. Ten tickles. Ten tickles. Oh, tentacles. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like those videos, please subscribe. We got more videos in the over here. 